Did you know that the Tesla Model S is Elon Musk's favorite vehicle from the company's lineup? If the new Tesla Cybertruck can't get you there, that may. Are you considering purchasing a new vehicle or are you still using gas-powered trucks? The Cybertruck, however, is not only an automobile for you, it is also a successful product the EV industry has been expecting for a long time. It may have a futuristic design from that science fiction film. Let's see how the CYBERTRUC key will affect Tesla stock prices. In a 2019 announcement, Musk unveiled Cybertruck, revealing that the vehicle's allegedly unbreakable armored glass windows had been broken. Since then, the company has pushed back the start of production by three months, from late 2021 to late 2022, then to early 2023, and most likely to mid-2023. With the launch of the Cybertruck, Tesla will be able to compete with Ford Motor Companies and Rivian Automotive's established models for electric pickup trucks in one of the most lucrative U.S. market categories. Musk explained in January that insufficient sourcing of components was to blame for the Cybertruck's 2023 launch date. Tesla stopped taking orders for the Cybertruck outside of North America in May. Musk claimed that three years after the start of manufacturing, the company had more requests for its prior Cyber than they could fill. For a completely new vehicle like the Cybertruck, automakers frequently gradually increase manufacturing. A worsening global economy, which has so far kept Tesla's ability to sell every vehicle it produces, is another factor that critics have warned may start to affect sales. According to Musk, the impending recession would extend until the spring of 2024. Die casting will be used to create parts for the Cybertruck by the Italian company Idra Group, which also makes the Giga Press. Expressed in a post that the 9,000-ton truck part manufacturing machine was loaded and ready to go. Tesla was not praised in the article. The Giga Press has been used by Tesla to reduce the price and complexity of the Model Y's production. The electric automaker's Cybertruck options have sent shares of Tesla surging, and even though the session ended in the negative, speculators are anticipating that the rise will go much further. Tesla has increased 74% in the past six months, turning the year around and approaching highs. Observed last in December, the options market predicts that Tesla shares will move by around 3.7% between now and the closing. Michael Caused is the president of Optimize Advisors. The stock hasn't had a range that broad in the previous trading days. More than 10,000 of them were traded, with an average cost of around $5 USD. It is clear that investors who purchased those calls are placing a wager that the stock would increase over the 360 USD strike price by at least the 5 USD they paid per cow. Options include more than just the enigmatic allure of a new product. Traders drooling. There is a justification for the excitement surrounding this specific new car. When contemplating what could drive Tesla shares higher or lower, options, traders, and supporters of Elon Musk's company tend to agree on the following. The U.S. auto industry's light-duty truck sales seem to be the only region that could possibly be the most lucrative one. Anunciacow. When last registered, Tesla stock had increased by around 2%. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has recently made a number of commitments, including delivering the long-awaited Cybertruck and appointing a successor for Twitter's chief executive. Investors will probably have to wait until Musk can share his plan to increase sales for the maker of electric vehicles. Tesla Bull and investor Gary Black predicts that Tesla will begin shipping Cybertrucks in the latter half of 2023 and includes 10,000 truck deliveries in his overall 2023 delivery forecast of 1.9 million. According to Musk, the CYBERTRUC key production may be completed by the middle or end of 2023, at which point vehicles might be offered to consumers. The Austin, Texas Tesla factory will start producing in June after many years of anticipation. Franz von Holzhausen, the principal vehicle designer, has just revealed some characteristics of the Cybertruck and promised significant surprises. Fans of Cybertruck are reassured by Van Holzhausen that the design is finished. Is the Cybertruck complete in terms of design? On the Ryan McCaffrey-hosted podcast Ride the Lightning, he was questioned. At a promotional event in Los Angeles in November 2019, 
Musk unveiled the electric pickup prototype. The Tesla Cybertruck promises an electric range of up to 500 miles, a maximum towing capacity of 14,000 pounds, and a starting price of less than 40,000 US dollars. Musk claimed that Tesla had already received at least 187,000 orders for the Cybertruck on November 24, 2019, five days following the vehicle's debut. Musk has been concentrating on boosting Twitter's earnings since he purchased the social media business for 44 billion USD. Investors in Tesla want the billionaire to concentrate on increasing sales for the EV business. In 2022, Musk declared that he would leave his position as CEO of Twitter once he found a successor. As of January 17, 9.2% of Black's future fund active ETF fund is made up of Tesla. According to him, the EV manufacturer had a bad fourth quarter as a result of Twitter commotion and the effects of its Chinese factory's low production output. Black said that he would like to know when he will name a CEO for Twitter. Black did not specify how many additional shares of Tesla were purchased last week by the August 2021 established Future Fund ETF, which paid 105 USD a share. Despite worries that Musk only used Twitter after taking the business private in October, when Tesla's favorability fell, he claimed that the brand has not been damaged. According to Black, Musk stopped tweeting his conservative opinions. Elon is a smart guy who has learned to refrain from tweeting his more conservative beliefs. You don't want your tendency to lean more to the right to hurt your brand. Especially if you're a consumer, views. Democrats who support the environment have over-indexed franchises. They find it irritating, claims Reuters. Tom Tsu, the CEO of Tesla's China division, was given the opportunity to lead the company's sales efforts in North America and Europe, as well as its U.S. manufacturing facility. Black noted that Fu is highly regarded and has established a successful company in China. Watching him manage the U.S. business will be interesting. Tesla fell short of its 2022 delivery goal, and Musk slashed the pricing of its two flagship vehicles, the Model Louis SUV and the entry-level Model 3 sedan, which together account for 95% of the company's 2022 deliveries. Two models can take advantage of the new U.S. federal tax credit of 7,500 USD, and prices have decreased anywhere from 6% to 20%. Although the price reductions would have an immediate negative impact on profit margins, Black insisted that they were still necessary. He stated that they had to take action in order to see volume development. It's difficult to judge if they were required to do it too much or not enough. Black said that Xu was responsible for the price reductions in the U.S. and China. The fact that Xu is Tesla's second-highest-profile executive is advantageous to the business. He claimed that his prior performance speaks for itself. Musk need to concentrate on Tesla, given that its stock worth fell by 65% last year, presuming he can accomplish the same in the U.S. According to Black, who has a price objective of 370 USD in the next 12 months, Tesla produced 9 billion USD in free cash flow statistics throughout 2022 that proves the company's brand was not damaged by the Twitter deal. Sales would increase if it was known whether Tesla would build gigafactories in nations like Mexico. Let's say their goal is to sell 10 million vehicles yearly by 2030. They would then require 10 gigafactories that could each produce a million cars, given that the Vermont plant only produces 600,000 annually, as opposed to the 250,000 produced by each of the facilities in Austin and Berlin, he claimed. If 5,000 units of Tesla's Megapacks, or battery storage units, were sold at $0.50 per share, they could make an additional 2 billion USD a year in profit. He added as well. The MEGAPACKS manufacturing facilities in Lathrop, California, went online in the third quarter with a view to selling them to utilities. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, did not provide many specifics about the new models, which disappointed investors. Musk had previously claimed that a 25,000 USD automobile was the company's master plan target. Third part explanation.